Hello, my horde. Uh, so today we are opening another LOL doll because um, they came out with a second series of LOL surprise tweens. They're smaller than the larger fashion dolls, the OMGs, and they're still bigger than the mystery baby dolls. Um, <laughs> but anyway, one of them is uh, this girl right here, Lexi Girl, right? That's her name? I think it is. It's somewhere on this box. Yeah, Lexi Girl um, with the U. Uh, <laughs> and she is just the like cutest little pastel punk Lolita girl. Uh, I love, I absolutely love her artwork. Um, but as you can see, you can't see the doll, and she is quite good too. Um, the like, the pink eye makeup on one side, the purple on the other, the split hair, the different bangs, everything about this is adorable. She even has one pink and one blue shoe, which is a thing I do. <laughs> like, this doll also calls to my soul. Um, and she, I just, I knew I had to have her. And the story actually was that I was trying to find her, couldn't find her. One day I went into Target. I was not even in the toy aisle. I went to the Valentine's aisle, like not that long after they put it up. So it was like pretty sparse, but someone had dropped this doll in that aisle. And I looked around, didn't see anyone. I'm like, okay, so hopefully this is just some kid picked it up, like was carrying it through the store, and like the parent was like, put that down, we're not getting it. Well, hopefully nobody just like put it down and expected to come back to it, uh, cause I snatched it. <laughs> um, cause I was just like, this is fate for me. Bad luck for somebody else, <laughs> I don't know. But it was, you know, no one was around. It was just on the shelf in the wrong aisle, as things sometimes are. <laughs> so she's mine now. Um, and we're just going to open her up. I don't, I don't know. She's got 15 surprises. And I don't know if that counts what she's wearing, if there's 15 additional surprises, or if her, the accessories she's already wearing kind of count in that count. Um, so we'll kind of see, I guess. As you can tell, I am spluttering around because I'm not sure what direction they want you to open this doll. There's tape up here. So let's assume that we need to cut the tape. Okay, yeah. Looks like I'm going to lift the top. There's another piece of tape holding this tab tab. <laughs> uh, Alright, bye bye tape. So we just slide out, do we? Ah, yes, we slide out. Oh, there's instruction booklet. Let's see. Oh, good. Okay, so she does have a stand. It is this nice, lovely mint color that I'm. I'm not sure if that's showing up good on the screen. It's like a nice, like pastel mint, and um, like the mint on her shirt. Ooh. But, let's see. So, okay, all of this is plastic tied in. So, all right, we're just gonna cut all this out. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut her and the surprises free, and then we're gonna open those. Okay, our doll is free and all of her accessories are free. We'll take a look at her in just a moment. Um, few things I was gonna point out first. There is some very cute artwork on the box here. Where she has like her little <laughs> Lolita purses and some shoes and uh, a giraffe and a tutu. Uh, on her on her shelf there a little vanity it's all uh, very cute but this uh, is such a mess that that's that's definitely not like a playset and then you know also all of this is just void basically <laughs> colorful void 
Um, and then the next thing I was going to point out about this stand, um, so I really like that the uh, bit here is clear plastic, the, the stand up and the, the actual little hook for her. That's actually, like, that's cool. I like that that's clear. I almost wish the whole thing was like that, because I do, I, I do so like translucent plastic. Um, how 90s of me. I don't know, I'm just going to assume how 90s of me. I was from the 90s, so probably that. <laughs> I'm just going to set her up so she's not laying down on those gorgeous curls this whole time. And it does once again have two, there's an additional hook, so you could kind of, I think you could put them both on and you could grasp her by the feet and the waist, because I'm wondering now if that isn't what you might need to do. Uh, she's okay. All right, we'll leave her alone for a moment. So this is this is actually part of the packaging too. But I realized there's this little magazine poster thing. And I think this comes out. Yeah, I just have to not ruin it. There. Okay. So you know, it seems like it's sort of advert. It's got a picture of her, and then it just has random words, basically, to me. This or that, mismatch, placeful, selfies, match serious photo bombs. <laughs> but I don't know. But the uh, the cover of this here is like a little school notebook um, that has the same pattern going on as the box did, kind of. Um, but like on that traditional composition book cover. Like, maybe she drew that on the cover herself, almost. Um, that's, I think that's a fun little headcanon. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then we'll start with the packages. She's got three little packages here. And I'm going to start with, just because uh, this one has caboodles on it. And I loved my caboodle when I was a kid. I had, I wish I still had it, but of course I got rid of it at some point. I had one that was all dark blue, sparkly, just glitter plastic, dark blue, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Why did I get rid of it? I don't know. At some point in time, I probably thought I grew out of it. <laughs> but because of the caboodles, that's how I'm choosing to open this one first. And these aren't that same quality, like these are definitely like wax paper. Um, so she has a funky little comb. It's all wavy and it does say tweens right down there on it. Um, LOL tweens, just to remind you. Uh, and that was all that was in, that's an awfully big bag for just that, <laughs> but okay. So the next one is got uh, artwork of a backpack on it, uh, and it has those that blue diamond theme going on on the back. So let's see. Oh, this is her cute little bear backpack. Um, I, oh, it's cats. It's actually cats. I knew that she had this. Um, it almost looks like you could pull it apart, but I don't think it's meant to come apart. Um, this is actually <laughs> somehow kind of a popular thing in Lolita, uh, is these like stuffed animal bags, but then you'll get them where if you have like a split color outfit, there's split color animal bags too, and it'll be like two spliced together, like a fused twin situation and they're they can be kind of terrifying and but also kind of cute look at the little kitty faces like but yeah that's so that's her cute little backpack going on and it just it does it does really go with the style she's got going on and it's a very popular thing to do all right and just one more little surprise bag here which says to me that um, the surprises include the articles that are on her uh, that you could actually see in the box, so they're not a surprise. But I guess that she's not that surprising 
I mean, like, her artwork is on the box, like, not all, like, some of, like, with the, with the, um, with Moonlight BB, some of the, the accessories were a surprise because they were not in the artwork. Um, so there's that. So we're really just defining surprise as any accessory, I think, um, whether it really was a surprise or you knew you were getting it. All right, and this is wrapped in some tissue papers. This leads me to believe it is possibly, she does have some earring holes, so this is possibly some earrings. Um, I didn't pay enough attention to the artwork to know if she has earrings and such. Let's see. Indeed, okay. So we have several very small pieces that I'm just gonna go ahead and slap on her like while we're at this because look how tiny these are. So she's got tiny little triangle earrings. They're just little studs. I like my <laughs> it's almost impossible to show off the full stud because it's so small my finger just to grasp onto it I have to cover the whole thing almost. So I'm just pushing these into the little holes in her ears. Oh, this one has a little... Oh, it's not too bad. It does have a little, like, piece of plastic that was coming off. But it picked off fairly easily, so it wasn't like it was a big deal. I'm just gonna turn these, because it'll bother me if they're not the direction I want them to be, I think. <laughs> And then the other two super teeny tiny accessories are, um, this is a stack of wrist bangles, um, which is, I know, I know, I was one of those girls in the early 2000s, I don't know, I was in middle school, so yeah, the early 2000s, uh, with the full stack of jelly bracelets, like every color of the rainbow. But only on the weekend, not at school, because there was a whole... I don't think anyone ever actually did it, but there was a whole, like, ha ha ha, if, if somebody snaps your bracelet, the color represents the, the weird thing you have to... I, no, I didn't like it, and it... I was just like, I just like these bracelets, what the heck is going on? So I only wore them on the weekends, <laughs> and not really to school, because uh, I didn't want to get bothered. But, yeah, and then a um, smaller single cuff. It looks like it's got black hearts and pink stars going on down it. It's a little, it's a little bit teeny for details. Oh, okay, so it is, okay. The pieces on it actually are supposed to be black hearts and pink stars, but it actually looks like the paint is printed off kilter. Um, oh, it starts out fine over, um, on one end, and then as it goes towards the other end, it's just not in the right place. And then I think there are just white dots in between that, um, so it's like every other, so it's like heart star, white dots, heart star, white dots, um, because I, I mean, I can, I don't think the camera is gonna pick that up great, because I don't have a light right. The light is here, this away instead of that away, <laughs> so I don't think it's picking up super great. Anyway, but we're just gonna go ahead and put these onto her, and I do think that's a bracelet and not a choker because it's uh, yeah, it's definitely wrist sized. They have fairly thick necks. Um, whap. Anyway, and these bracelets are in the artwork. She's falling off her stand. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> we'll try, I don't know, maybe we'll try with both uh, hooks on in a minute. But So here she is, all of her accessories, except for the bag and the notebook uh, included. <laughs> but, she is just so super 
duper cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, <laughs> so we're just going to, I'm, I'm going to do this. Um, so she has this cute mint, uh, crop top going on there. And I love the, um, the part across the chest is a nice solid, like stretch material. And then there's this fun, like light airy organza y kind of like, definitely it, probably not like high quality organza or anything <laughs> um, but like cheap chiffon um but it's still super cute i like that going on and it's got this nice little net collar little bow in front um and she has you know i i don't think this is a proper jumper skirt. I do think this is <laughs> more of an overall skirt with the little heart patch on it. And I think there actually is, there is a, a term for that. Um, oh, salopette. It's more of a salopette. I bet I am saying that wrong. I, I'm sure that I've heard lovely lore say that word, but I do not remember how to say it. Um, so where it's more of an overall skirt because it doesn't have the um, back because a jumper skirt would have a back. Anyway, <laughs> Lolita lessons from not at all a Lolita. Um, how about that? But something I'm going to point out, it's got this cute, you know, split colors. It's got this cute, um, this is actually a flocked dot uh, over skirt going on there that's tool. I maybe this is <laughs> maybe this is wrong, but she has the cutest bloomers, the cutest bloomers, okay? So I'm taking the skirt off. The the skirt All right, the skirt has a built-in panty kind of. Um I don't know. I guess that must help it stay in place. Uh I could put it back on without putting that between her legs, but yeah, it has a little bit that goes around the leg but look at these bloomers <laughs> they're like little sleep shorty bloomers and she does um she does also have painted on underwear that is oh wow it is like bright metallic pink um <laughs> but i just that's so cute she i think i bet the chest doesn't no it doesn't you know what anyway <laughs> but I just, I, I looked under the skirt, because of course you do, because um, you just want to see how the doll is made. Um, but look, that's so cute. She could just take her skirt off, and now she's, like, ready for bed. She's, like, sleepy time. Um, and uh, con continuing downward, she's got these uh, socks, these mismatched socks that are wonderful. You know, mismatched, but still matching, because it's that same mint and then just black and white uh, so cute and then her pink and blue shoes the pink shoe has blue lacing and the blue shoe has pink lacing and that includes lacing on the heel I it was so unnecessary and I love it I love it I am gonna take a second to say the split in the back of the shoes is very wide but at least she has with the cute socks underneath I think it's less bad um, also these shoes are just so cute that I am having trouble being upset that they're they, I am so happy that they exist oh look now she's like sleepy time mode you just take off all her other accessories and she's like I just put those on backwards it doesn't really matter because the the I don't think the feet are shaped left and right. No, well, they might be. She's got a little bit of a hmm, defined arch, um, but I don't know if the shoes are, you know, crazy enough, detailed enough. Is that the is that the thing? I think you can just muscle them on. It's like you know Barbie feet. They're they're not left and right really, but. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put her, her over skirt back on, which I don't need to take her hands off for, but now that I know that LOLs you can take the hands off of, 
I didn't know before, y'all, and I struggled. I'm still struggling. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the hands. This, well, actually, her hand did catch it, but it's also just, like, not wanting to go. I've right, got the strap all twisted. There we go. Oh, and those straps are the same, like, fake, fake plastic leather as uh, the corset on the other doll that I opened. And she does have, she does have a little bit of, like, box hair going on, like this portion of the, the blue portion of her hair is, like, mm, sticking out kind of weird. Um, again, again, it's a doll with these beautiful curls that I don't want to ruin, so I still need to find, I still need to find someone who can, like, just do a li just a little rehab on the doll hair because I just I have I don't know what to do with the curly doll hair. I don't want to ruin it because I love the curls. Oh, <laughs> uh, I need to get better at taking care of um <laughs> of fake hair because I have several wigs and I have this gorgeous curly wig and I don't know how to take care of it and I just need to learn. But, uh, someone to, like, be in person, show me the ropes, would be great. <laughs> um, the other thing, I'm gonna point out this cute little detail. She has one hand has blue nail polish, one hand has pink nail polish. She has absolutely committed to the split, and she does, you know, this is the blue side, this is the pink side. Um, sometimes when you do split, you'll like, oh, my hair goes one direction, my dress goes the other direction, my shoes go the opposite direction, like the same direction as the hair. Um, or at least I do that sometimes. Um, I, I have a costume like that, because uh, I kind of like, I kind of like the it zigzag that happens. Um, but I also, you know, one side and then the other side is also super cute. Plus she, like, this is split, but it's not, it's split pink and black. So it, it breaks up the pattern anyway. I'm like overanalyzing, <laughs> overanalyzing the LOL doll, which I think is what I did to the last one too, which is how that was like, how long was that video? Was it like an hour? <laughs> it was like almost an hour long. <laughs> Uh, whoops, but I had a lot to say, but because I said a lot of things that I feel about the series in that video, I just don't need to say as much this time. Okay, so she wasn't standing very well with just the one, so I did put both of these on. They might be the exact same size. I was thinking one was a little bit smaller, but now I can't tell. An eensy bit, like, but not, not significantly. But if I put one down around, so there's one that goes on her waist, and then one we're just gonna, I'm gonna put her legs together, I guess. That looks awkward. I'll share in just a moment, but that's probably... Eh, that's probably not too bad. Um, it's not like super, super posed, but you know, her legs just have to like be pressed together. Um, but she's sturdy <laughs> and that is an important factor in a doll stand. Uh, making sure your doll is sturdy. Although, you know, sturdy, but also I can pose her like even with her legs is, is nice. But she is very cute. She's gonna have a happy home uh, on my shelf because I love her so much. She's so cute. I mean, all of my dolls I, I want to have displayed. I just don't have room for all of them at the moment. Hopefully I'll be moving sometime this year to someplace just a little bit bigger. That's the dream. <laughs> but you know, Life has been wild lately, <laughs> but there she is. She's so cute. Um, we can argue about what counts as 
surprises. Um, I, I'm not going to count all her accessories to be like, are there definitely at least still 15 accessories? Because I, it says 15 surprises, and I'm very unsurprised. <laughs> but I also, I picked a doll that I very much liked. Um, so I don't actually have complaints in that department. I just think it's a little weird that they're still being like, surprises, surprises, because it's LOL's surprise, you know? But, like, it's kind of their brand deal, but it's not actually playing into that all that well. <laughs> so I don't know. But uh, I am in love. She's so cute. Um, <laughs> she is... Oh, let's see if she's taller than a boxy girl. I don't have the the other LOL doll, um, but I did, the LOLs remind me of the boxy dolls a little, well, the boxy dolls remind me of the LOLs. I think they were made to try to compete, but I do think, interesting. I think the, the boxy girls are in between the OMGs and the tweens. They're, they're tween the tweens. They're super tweens. I don't know what is wrong with me. I, yeah, I just don't have Moonlight BB right here. <laughs> Cause I keep a boxy girl out here. The, the only, the only boxy girl that made me happy so far. <laughs> but, um, the rest are in my room. Uh, so we got that comparison instead of comparing to the actual uh, OMG line one there. Oh, when I didn't put her backpack on her, which would be... I don't know if it can get all the way on her. I don't really want to pull her off the stand. It was a little bit fidgety. I feel like it would be difficult to get... to get it on as a true backpack. But also, it's not like it's... It's not hanging well on one side either. <laughs> so I don't know. Well, I mean, I guess if she's wearing her bag... Okay, I'm having difficulty bending the elbow. That's... There we are. I think it's just, like, stiff. I don't know, though, because I can't... I was thinking she could, like, be doing... Because you, you hold your bag when you're holding your bag, but she can't because dolls don't have that extra space of movement. Um, so yeah, the bag is... Oop. This cuff is really loose and just came off way too easy. Whereas like this one is... But maybe it's just because this one's big. It's like solid and it doesn't... I mean, I guess if you pull on it, but it doesn't like just come off, but that one like just flipped off and I wasn't trying to pull on it at all. Yeah, I would have to like get out some rubber bands or something and like attach it. Um, <laughs> but there's her little bag. Um, we're not gonna bother with that. Because <laughs> um, I had to cut up all the ones that were in the box. Oh, except this one. I wonder if I could just... I'm sure that I could. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with it anymore because I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. Um, things are falling. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall, I don't have that many complaints. I really, I really do like this doll line. Um, I'm still, I'm still kind of in shock about how much I like these. Um, but especially now that the boxes are getting the windows and you can see the dolls in the store and you can see actually that these are fairly quality, like they're not worse than a Barbie or anything, you know what I mean? Like, these are, these are nice. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm excited. She's so cute. She's so cute. Anyway, with all of that, um, that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked today's video, there's all kinds of engagement things you can do. Subscribe to make sure you see when I post again, and I will see you treasures next time. Mm -hmm.